I believe this little beauty right here still has the power and the price action right now to change your life. And that is why I'm all in. So before we get into this video and what I'm going to be doing with my new position in HBAR, firstly, I might have different goals than you. I have massive amounts of HBAR already, but seeing the recent dip after this fake news, and I'll talk about that in a second, I think HBAR still has the power to change your guys' life. And I know there's a lot of fud out there and people have sold their HBAR, and that's absolutely fine. I just want to be clear before I jump into the meat and potatoes of this video. If you've sold your HBAR for a better place, like, let's be transparent here. I make no money out of pushing HBAR content. HBAR will never, ever pay me. They're way too big. I wish HBAR paid me. <laughs> I've made so many videos about HBAR, but they don't pay me a dime. The only reason I'm buying HBAR is because I still believe, at least for me personally, and a lot of my other guys... It still has the power to change your life. So I'm buying, give or take, 5000 more dollars. And I'm going to be staking this new H-bar. I'll talk about that in a second. Because I still believe we are so, so early. But there is a lot of FUD out there. And I want to break some disbelief. So if you guys have been living under a rock recently, you've probably seen something like this. The H-bar Foundation talked about Black Rocks. Pretty much investment in their MFF tokenization. blah 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 Boring kind of stuff. But that is what caused this recent price action. And then you had fuckers, I don't mean to swear, but <laughs> sorry, you had fuckers like Coin Telegraph pretty much saying it was fake. And this wasn't even the case, but they quoted on their website, the problem with Coin Telegraph, they're kind of like a matrix company in cryptocurrency. And they just delete posts, they just try and create all this FUD, etc. But these guys, they said BlackRock has no commercial relationship with Hedera. Nor has BlackRock selected HBAR to tokenize any BlackRock funds. And this was proven to be BS, but a lot of people just see this. They buy HBAR when it pumped at, give or take, 18, 90 or so cents. They see the news and then they sell at a loss. And I fucking hate this because it wrecks the small investor. They look at HBAR, they're interested in it right now. And again, you should have been buying HBAR for ages. The only reason I'm buying HBAR is because of our indicator just posted a green but I'm here for 2025. If this continues to drop and it goes back down to six or seven cents, I'm fine with this position. I'm absolutely fine. My full bag is fully locked in at four to five cents. That's where my kind of average entry right now is because I've been DCing across all this bullshit, even with my big whoopsie doopsie with HBAR that I'll talk about in a second. So I just want to be clear. If you don't believe in HBAR, that's absolutely fine. Don't be mad at me. You guys have to make your own decisions, right? That is your play, but it still makes sense for me. But I just want to discredit this. I fucking hate Coin Telegraph and all these other big companies and all these other big Twitter pages wrecking the small investor because a lot of people like HBAR but they see stuff like this and it scares them the F out and you've seen all these retail investors like just get scared and they continually to lose money. So they crashed the price and they scared the Jeffries and what is happening is they will continually try to shake you out. They're not shaking me out. I'm fully locked in. I know where we're going in 2025 and it might not be the 100x coin that you're looking for. Get in those plays, get in those pre-sales, get in those lower cap gems, AI picks, etc. But I think HBAR is still the best risk slash award, at least for me, with all the stuff that they have going on. But if you're getting shaken out by these guys and they're continually making you sell your bags, cryptocurrency isn't for you. It really isn't for you because you have to control this and you have to ignore, ignore the noise. If you have a better position in HBAR, Casper, ADA, Polygonmatic, go all in on those plays and your smaller caps. But the video about HBAR is just so, so scarce to me because... I was waiting for this. I seen this price action. I never sold any, but I was looking for another entry and where to put my you know, funds because we've just crossed the end of the month in April. And I was looking for, hey, where should I put this DC entry? And I just seen the HBAR price consolidate again after the big crash. I wasn't going to buy it back here because the multiplier is not that great. But when it crashed, pretty much got cut in half again to about 18 or so cents to about the 10, 11 cents we were at. Now I'm like, okay, now I'm going to buy some more HBAR. I'm here for 2025. You should be here for 2025 if you're playing a horrible mentality. If you're trading HBAR, that's fantastic. If you're pumping this and you're dumping this and you're rolling over, keep doing that, brother. But we're back on a confirmation of the green, which is why I'm making this video today and why I'm really talking about HBAR. Because the DCA plus the 10 cents is good enough for me to start going all in again. But the partnership, what does this mean? So again, this tweet that Cointelegraph tried to fucking wreck say it so many times, like, F these guys, who are these? These guys probably don't even hold cryptocurrency. They're just trying to shake up people just to get views, just to get clicks so they can make themselves rich. But the partnership 
what does that expect as a retail investor, right? Because you're probably a retail investor. You probably don't have millions of dollars in, but this gives exposure. And I think that long-term, it's going to give credibility because Hedera will demonstrate how fast and efficient the network is. We already know that they're backed by Google, LG, and all these big companies. And this is already proven for me. BlackRock if, is willing to be involved. Basically, anybody can be involved. These are the biggest companies, and they're, only, they're not here to lose money, right? They have so much money. But they're not just going to be losing money if like plays like HBAR. They're obviously smarter than us because they have way more money. So it shows enterprises are willing to invest and work and operate on the HBAR network. BlackRock wasn't the first and it won't be the last. You're going to see more news like this, but unfortunately you're going to see more fuckers. I hate to swear, but it just really pisses me off. I didn't even want to make this video because I was just like, ah, there's no point because when I post this video, people are going to be like, yeah, yeah, what about this? What about this? Again, it's just for me, proof of concept to keep myself accountable in the future when I can look back at these videos because I show you guys my losses and I'll show you guys a massive loss if you're brand new to this channel with me and HBAR. So they won't be choosing anything other than Hedera if they do the research because it's the greenest, it's the fastest, it's the most scalable, and I believe it's the most secure out of all the DLTs going forward. You just look at the developers in TVL right now. Look at this. It's constantly compounding and eventually price action will dip and then we'll go again to the moons. But if this continually can keep growing, it's game over. Remember, you're probably trying to make money with HBAR. The fact that Google and all these other guys are involved is just an overall boost for other Jeffries to get in and think they're going to get rich. Your goal, and at least my goal, has always been HBAR just a 10x. I'll talk about price predictions at the end of this video, but I hate making those predictions because nobody fucking knows. It could go to zero, it could go to four dollars, it could go anywhere in between. That is not the mission of this play for me. It's just to make money with my DCA money that I have in from YouTube, my courses, my other businesses, etc. That's all cryptocurrency investing is for me. If you have the job, treat it as the exact same. You make your monthly income, you put it in cryptocurrency for a better tomorrow. That is all you're doing. And if you don't like HBAR, I'm not 100% in HBAR. I hold other positions. I hold a lot of more positions as well. So that should be the goal for you. And again, my mistakes, nobody will tell you this. My mistakes with this coin in the last cycle, I'll give you it right now. I bought, so let me just find it on the weekly because in fact, I'll just put it right here. I was buying $40,000 worth of HBAR. I got about 282K HBAR. I bought the 14 cent mark. I just didn't understand anything because I thought we were still in this bull run phase, but obviously Bitcoin decided to crash and Celsius went down and FTX went down and obviously the market kind of consolidated. But right now, if you look at the year to time, we're up nicely. We've almost doubled, but this big pump is what got a lot of people in. And then obviously the big dump with companies like Cointelegraph reporting this fake news, they crashed a lot of small investors out and your portfolio pretty much got cut in half. If you started to buy because you were like, yep, we're off to the races, H bar to $1. Don't play these coins like this. Play the pre-sales like that. Play the small gems like that. But do play this for 2025. At least that's what I'm doing. Because I thought at 14 cents, I was getting, bit, I was getting sorry, HBAR cheap. But obviously, BTC crashed. Ethereum crashed. I was like, oh shit, we're in a bear cycle. Now I understand. And I'm so grateful for that lesson because it's taught me a lot of where we are right now in the cycle. But again, be here for 2025. Accumulate on the dips or you will be left behind. Again, do that for all your other gold coins, etc. going forward. Because what we need to happen right now is we need Bitcoin to just chill. We can keep going down and that's absolutely fine. But if you want to stake this, you can do this in Stator Labs right now. I'm not going to go into that. There's probably other YouTube videos where you can just like Google HBAR staking, how this works. I use Hashback and I'm going to be in a new position here to get yield. So even if HBAR goes down to six cents and back to eight cents and does nothing for a year, I am going to be accumulating, the most part here is not dollar values, it's free HBAR. Obviously, the more you can get in, the more HBAR you'll get in to sell for a dollar value. That's why you guys are here. You're not here to like sell for HBAR. You're here to sell for this, to live this sort of lifestyle where you can do whatever you want. So Hashback is the best for me. And you can look at all their nodes, etc. They have Google, they have etc. I'll use Swirls because these guys are obviously the ones that are on their council. I don't want to confuse you, but these are the guys that are locked in. You'll get less yield on this node, but you can come and check out their nodes, etc. They're all uh, pretty much 100% safe. You can sell your keys, or sorry, not sell your keys. You can sell your coins. You hold the keys. That was the difference with Celsius. Like Alice Mashinsky and FTX, the guys held your keys. So again, you don't have to stake this, but just for me, it makes sense. So my price targets, but before I get into that, I just want to show you proof of concept. I've got about 4.8K in here right now. So I want to buy HBAR. And again, I'm not going to stake this live because it just takes too long, but I'm just going to show you that I am in the game with you and I'm going to be putting this 4.8K uh, market buy right back into HBAR. This could dip to six cents tomorrow, right? This could portfolio could get cut in half. 
but I'm okay with that because I'm here for 2025 and I'm going to be staking this regardless. So let me just go back in my wallet to show you that I'm not BSing around. A lot of people say that they hold HBAR, but they never actually fucking buy it, right? Because number one, they're broke, or number two, they're just trying to get views. I am in the trenches with you. I'm probably the only YouTuber, whether you like me, whether you hate me, whether you fuck with me, whatever, I'm the only YouTuber that I'll do this currently right live for you. So I bought 44k, I think the title is probably 50k. Just rounded it up. Hopefully you don't mind about that. So what I'll do after that is I'll deposit that in my hashback wallet and I'll start earning yield in that as we speak. But here is the kind of kicker of this video. If you like HBAR, get this done. It would be a good DCA for 2025. But the people are always saying, what's your price targets for the end of 2025? I have got the layer note strategy of 20% up at certain prices, previous all time high, then it'll slowly, slowly start scaling out because I'm not looking for the 100X for this coin. It probably will be 100x in the future, but I want to rinse and repeat this bull market as much as possible with my other positions and just do super, super well. You have to find your goals for you. If you're holding HBAR for a price of $6 because that will get you rich, it's not going to, it's not going to happen, brother. It's really not going to happen. Ride up your other altcoins to buy more HBAR or get a better paying job, start a business or do what we are doing with our DeFi liquidity pools to get 10k per month. You can find more information that in the description. You can speak to me personally, but it's only for high level investors that really want to change their life. So here's the price targets. You're not going to like this, but I just have to do this. It's hard to predict. Things are moving exponentially when they move. And here's my price prediction. <laughs> you won't like this because it's so broad and it's just the reality of cryptocurrency. HBAR will either go to $0 or it will go to $4. It will be somewhere in between. I hope you get what I'm saying here, guys. All in on HBAR. Get your other positions filled. These are times when you want to be taken advantage. Do not mind if HBAR dips. I know it's difficult. It's very, very difficult to see your portfolio get cut in half and then for it to go down and you start swapping positions. But if you're here for this number right here, this is the only thing you should be interested in. You can get generational wealth of coins like HBAR. You can come and get stater. You can get free, you know, et cetera, yield. You can get free HBAR coins to accumulate more for free and then start filling up your other positions if you decide to do so. So I hope you get what I mean here with this price prediction. I hope it doesn't piss you off too much. This is all I've really got to say. I'm all in and I will continuously be all in. I'll try and give you as full transparency as possible with buying these coins live. Peace, take care. God love you. Goodbye.